Okay, what we're doing in this experiment, we're going to break up some used motor oil in water. Um, the reason for this is contractors that are trying to clean oil up from parking lots are constantly uh, using soaps, chemicals, so on, to break the oil from the surface, debond it, and what happens is they don't realize that they're actually creating an emulsion or pollution and it's going through their filtration system. So we're going to show you how to actually filter. This is part of a patented process. When you take oil and water, as you can see, it floats on the surface. Now, if I want to remove an oil stain from a parking lot, I'd put my oil lift down and then I would, that would create an emulsion. Now watch what happens here. It's quite an interesting reaction. I'm just going to put a tiny amount of oil lift in and you can see the oil starts to react right away. That's because one side, the, imagine a little guy with two arms, that's the oil lift, it's holding, one side's holding on to the oil, and the other is holding on uh, to the water. So that's where you get this oil and water emulsion. So you can see the oil, it starts to break into smaller, smaller globules. And that's when oil and water mix. Now the problem this has, say you're on a boat of a ship or something, you add degreaser into the, the bilge, what it does is it actually allows the oil to sink to the bottom. So you've created this interesting little reaction. So if you don't neutralize this material before you try to filter it, it simply slides right past the filter. Now if I take, um, let's see, what I'm going to do here, this is what's known as a safe acid. Oh, let me check the pH first here actually. We'll take a pH meter and I'm just going to turn it on here and you can see this is standard pH testing unit and I'm going to put it in the water and you can see we have a pH of 7.4 so it's slightly alkaline if I make that even more add some more oil lift you see the oils all breaking up into little balls there what will happen is the pH will go up now I'm going to put that aside and now I'm going to add what's called a safe acid so I just put a little bit of the safe acid in there all you need is a tiny amount this is really strong stuff and then we're going to mix this up again. But you'll see the balls of oil, they start to get bigger again. Why? Because we broke the soap. So that little guy has let go of his grip on the, on the water. And you can actually see the oil starting to thicken out and come back together. So I'm going to pull the camera out here. And we're going to just come up on top. And you can see the oil all grouping it together. <clears throat> so the water gets clear. The oil comes up. And now we're going to introduce an interesting thing. It's called a super absorbent. Okay, this is a polymer that's hydrophobic. And it, it, so in other words, hydro for water, phobic, it's afraid of the water. It will cause the, the um, sorry, the, it'll just simply grab the oil. So this is what you use as the filter mechanism inside a filter. And you can see, oh, it's grabbing all the oil. Yeah, it's a bit gooey on the sides, of course. But there you go. You get clean water. So it's as simple as that, but it's understanding this process that allows you to properly clean up oil from parking lots or wherever, have it mixed with water, and then break the emulsion. And then actually filter it out so that you have clean water on a surface. So let's just actually put that in there a bit more. And we can actually get a close up. Sorry, my camera is off today. He's sick.